Hi, welcome to OpenLC Solutions. Today we're going through 2014 Ordinary Level Paper 2, and we've moved on to question 2, which is all about probability. The question says that when taking a penalty kick, the probability that Kevin scores is always 3 over 4. So the probability of a score is always 3 over 4. The first question asks us, if he takes a penalty, what's the probability that he doesn't score? In this case, there's only two options, either he scores or he doesn't. And for any given event, all of the probabilities have to add up to one because something has to happen. In this case, that something is either he scores or he doesn't score. And so the probability that he doesn't score, let's call it a miss, has to be one minus three over four. If there were more than two outcomes, this wouldn't work out so easily. We would need to know more than just one of the probabilities we'd need to know. Say, if there were four total, we would need to know three of the probabilities to be able to work out the fourth. The second question says, Kevin takes two penalties, and it's asking what is the probability that he scores both? That means, what is the probability that he scores, and then he scores again? Since both of these two things have to happen, he has to score the first penalty, and then he has to score the second penalty, this is a multiplication issue. The way we figure this out is we take the probability for the first outcome happening, so probability that he scores the first time, multiply it by the probability of the second outcome happening, which is also 3 over 4 in this case, and so we end up with 9 over 16. The third question says Kevin takes three penalties, and it's asking what's the probability that he scores exactly twice. The word exactly is important there because it says he scores exactly two times. He doesn't score any less than two times, doesn't score any more than two times. He scores exactly two of his penalties. And there's three ways that that can happen. He can score his first two and then miss his third. Or he can score his first one, miss his second, and score the third. Or he can miss the first one, then score the second and the third shots. Now since these are or type scenarios, so it's one thing happens, or the second one happens, or the third one happens, the way you do this is you add those probabilities together. We already know how to work out the probability of any one of these things happening. If he has to score the first one, the second one, and then miss the third one, you can multiply all those probabilities together, and that's how that one works out. So we get 3 over 4 times 3 over 4 times 1 over 4, because remember, probability for missing is 1 over 4. We can add that to the probability for the second scenario where he scores the first one, which is 3 over 4, misses the second, which would be 1 over 4, and then scores the third, which is going to be 3 over 4. Then we add that to the third scenario where he misses the first one with 1 over 4, scores the second one, that's 3 over 4, and then scores the third one as well, which is 3 over 4. Each of those work out to be 9 over 64. So in total, we have 27 over 64. The final part of this question tells us that Kevin takes five penalties and is asking what's the probability that he scores for the first time on his fifth penalty. If he has to score for the first time on his fifth penalty, then you have to think about what happens the first four penalties. If his first score is the fifth one, then surely the first four penalties he must have missed. So the scenario is, he missed the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And now we're wondering what's the probability that all of that happens, and then he scores the fifth one. Since all of these things have to happen in order, we just multiply all those probabilities together. So 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 times 1 over 4. Those are the first four shots, and he misses all of those. Then he scores the last one with a probability of 3 over 4. And so that one becomes 3 out of 1,024. That's that one done then. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll talk to you again in the next episode.